morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, good morning, hi. So now that I've finished up with the hair for now, I'm just gonna let that sit. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put some skincare on. So the first thing that I always start with, it is a non-negotiable and it's so important. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I preach skincare and that starts with sunscreen. So I'm gonna put sunscreen on. Today I'm using the Tarte Guard. This is a great one. I love using it because it makes you feel a little bit glowy underneath your makeup and it actually doesn't make my skin break out. And when I'm putting on my sunscreen, I make sure as well to take it down onto my neck and my decolletage as well, because these are areas that we tend to show our age. So I really, really try to take care of these areas. Okay, now I'm moving on to my favorite part of the process. I'm gonna choose my scent for the day. know if you ever do this if you choose your scents your perfume based on your mood I do that all the time and today I chose floral peony this is by the brand dossier and it's inspired by Chloe's by Chloe so that's just an iconic scent and if you're a subscriber to the channel you may remember I've actually mentioned dossier before and you girls gave me so much good feedback you love the product so I thought I would briefly touch on it again so the brand dossier reproduces luxury high-end scents at a fraction of the cost one of the things that stood out to me about this brand is that when you buy it you buy it for $29 it actually comes with a little sample scent as well so basically you can try this before you open the other scent and if you don't like how it smells on you you can actually return it for no extra cost at all and it's a great way to test out the product before you own it which face it most of us do our online shopping especially now with what's going on so it's a really really easy system and you actually have 30 days to return it and it's not going to cost you any extra you just pay shipping so that is a great little thing that dossier does as well I actually went to a Dermalogica event last year and they had a dermatologist there who gave us a few little hacks when it comes to scents and taking care of your skin and one of the things they told us was to not spray the perfume directly onto your neck because of the alcohol content within the perfume that it actually ages your skin happy birthday grandma it's better to be over the hill <laughs> than buried under it so ever since then I've taken it very seriously and whenever I put perfume on I just spray it onto my outfit and that's definitely been one of my favorite things about dossier is that it lasts really well I'll put this perfume on in the morning I'll spray it onto my clothes and then that night I when I'm done with work I'll literally give Alex a hug and he can still smell the scent I'm also going to link dossier below in case you want to check any of the scents out as well let me know your experience what your thoughts are because I've been really really impressed all right Time to get into the magic. Let's put on this hot girl disguise. All right, so now I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna do a super detailed makeup video today. I'm gonna do that as a whole separate video, but I'm gonna bring you along and show you the general gist. So it normally takes me about probably 10 to 15 minutes to get ready. My makeup routine is very minimal and it's always very similar. So on a normal day when I'm not shooting content, I'll wear something a little bit lighter. I'll wear bronzer. I'll wear this Armani Nero Nude Foundation, which is just beautiful. But on content days when I'm shooting and I'm wanting something with fuller coverage, I'll always use this. This is the Tarte Bound C. I love this. Then the next step is putting on concealer. This is actually a little hack that I learned from TikTok and I actually found that it really works. So TikTok is definitely good for some things. So basically the hack says that when you're doing a triangle and a line here, it just lifts your face a little bit. So I started doing that. And I actually did it the way I used to do it on one side and then this way on the other side. And I found that it really made a difference. So ever since then, I've kept it up. And next is the brow. So I'm using a retractable brow pencil. This is from Sephora. I love this color. I've actually changed the way that I've been doing my brows lately. I've been doing them a little bit thinner and a little bit longer, like pulling down the tails a little bit. Brows literally make such a big difference to your face. I don't know if you guys ever went through the phase when you were younger and you overplucked your brows because I know that's something I definitely did. That is definitely a regret that I have from when I was younger is that I didn't listen to my family enough for my parents when they told me, Robbie, you're making your brows too thin. And I was like, it's okay, they look great. And then of course I look back on photos and I'm like, why did I do that? We live and we learn. And I'm going for a really neutral, easy eye today. I'm using the color Kano in my The Warrior by Juvia's palette. This is such a beautiful palette. I love it. Now I'm gonna go in and do my winged liner. I'm just gonna do a really simple kind of flick off the end today. I'm not going super thick. I'm actually using a brown because I feel like it's a little bit less harsh. 
All right, so now I'm just curling my eyelashes. I actually find this makes such a big difference when you're putting on mascara. But man, these things always scare me. So whenever I use them, <laughs> I'm so cautious. And the mascara I've been using lately is by Lancome. I actually got this as a sample in a beauty box and it became my favorite one. So actually, I nearly finished this off and I think I'm gonna buy a full-size bottle of this because it's so good. I'm gonna put it on one eye and show you guys. So I just put my mascara on my right eye so far, so this one is naked. But you can see the difference. It's really big, actually, especially considering I have really, really short lashes. So it definitely makes a difference. Now I'm going to go in my bronzer, and I'm actually just using a powder bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills with a little contour brush. I actually just like to kind of put this in a shape up in my hairline and then pull it down to contour those cheeks just a little bit. Now I'm going to put on my lashes. And I don't wear lashes every day, but when I'm shooting content, I do just to make the eyes pop a little bit. So I've actually worn this lashes a couple times before. So I've just put glue on there. I think they're on their last legs. This might be the last time I wear them, but I really like this cut of lashes. And it's actually just a half cut, so it doesn't close the eye off by being too long or too heavy. Then I'm gonna go in with a translucent setting powder and this just stops you from getting that shine on camera that you can get. So I generally just put it on my oily zones, which is just generally my chin and also my T-zone up here. I also like to put a little bit here as well where I conceal just to keep it really nice and bright as well. I decided to go with a very neutral kind of nude lip today. So I mixed two shades. This one is MAC Honey Love and then this one is Rose Water by Kosas. And I actually like to pat it on. I just feel like it grows on very natural. Okay, and the final step in my get ready with me is going to be using a setting spray. So I have a couple different ones I use depending on what my goal is. If I'm wanting a very matte look, I'll use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is great for a matte look. But if I'm wanting something really glowy and dewy like I do today, then I'll use the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray. They actually have this in two shades. This is the original. You can see it's, it's nearly empty. It's been well used and well loved this product. So often I'll find that I'm getting a rubbing mark from the mask. So this just helps to stop that just a little bit. Now I'm going to pick my outfit for today. I'm actually running a little bit late. I have a meeting right now at LA Models. So we're going to go there and then I'm going to go shoot some content. So let's go. So just jumped into the car. It's Brittany. Heading to my meeting right now, so it's perfect to make up for a meeting. And I just obviously have my mask, so I'm gonna pop that on now. You can see now that the lighting is a little bit better, but this look is just really glowy and really dewy. And I swear, the iconic London setting spray it seriously makes all the difference. I also put it on my decolletage as well, just for that little bit of an extra glow. All right, let's do this. So I just left the meeting. It was actually really, really good, really productive, kind of exciting. We're working on something really fun. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. It's something that I've actually been talking about for way too long, like at least a year yeah. and a half. I'm so excited to tell you guys all about it. We'll see. Very you. exciting. By the way, guys, this is Katja. Katja, welcome to the vlog, finally. Thanks. A lot of the time, Katja is the person behind the camera helping me with things. So I actually met Katja when I first moved to LA, obviously nearly a year and a half ago now. And we had each other on Instagram. And then when I put up an ad for an assistant, in. It made perfect sense to work together because obviously like I already know and trust her. Katja has been my sister now for like a couple months. Yeah. It's just been a huge help because I feel like, you know, I'm doing a lot at the moment. Obviously like me and Alex work a lot of hours. So she's like such a little lifesaver. Happy to save your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to tag Katja below if you want to follow her and keep up and see some of the tragic behind the scenes of me <laughs> and my life, then that's where to look. Anyway, let's go get this photo before we lose light. This is the location we're shooting today. This is obviously the Hollywood sign. You can see there's a couple of people out here doing their thing. We're going over this in these heels. <laughs> these are my hiking shoes. Oh, wait, no, there's an opening over there. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there's not. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so we just got back, and the first thing that I do whenever I get back from shooting any type of content, videos, TikToks, photos, whatever it is, is change straight into my comfy clothes. So I just put a pair of trackies on and this really cute plain little bralette. Now I'm gonna go get dinner in the oven. I'm starving right now. And then I'm gonna sit down and edit those photos that we just took. And if you guys do wanna see how I edit my photos, let me know, comment below. I can do a video on that as well. I'm also going to link that dossier perfume that I used earlier today. They also gave me a discount code for you guys. If you do wanna check it out, make sure you tag me in any content you get. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what type of other videos you wanna see from me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.